We read uh, all the Bible five times. We read through the Psalms and the, and the Proverbs 15 times, every, every line of it, in the family altar. And you can have the time. You don't have time for that, do you? How much time does that take? Well, Mrs. Rice and I, we're still at home, read four chapters a day together. One day we read four chapters, and I prayed, and she prayed, and I prayed for over 100 people by name every day. And we got through, and I, I remember when we read four chapters, each one of us prayed. I remember it took 22 minutes. That's not so much. You say take 15 or 20 minutes a day away from the television uh, program in order to read the Bible? Yes, or take down your, your sight and quit lying about being a Christian. If you don't take time for the Bible, you're not a good Christian. If you don't take time to teach it to your children, oh, the Word of God, teach it together. It, 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 teach it diligently to your children. Talk of it all the time, he said. And write it, he said, on the wall of your houses, on the post of your gates. My, my, is your home obviously a Christian home? Can anybody come around there feel, oh, this must be a Christian home. We've got, got mottos on the wall, scripture on the wall. And they're talking about the Bible all the time. So it ought to be. Oh, my. Uh, you ought to teach your children the Bible. Someone said, Brother Ross, we ought to have prayer in the schools. That's right. We ought to have Bible reading in the schools and prayer. That's right. They say, I hope they'll have a, an um, amendment to the Constitution so who can have volunteer Bible reading and prayer. That's fine. I hope they do. Well, they probably won't. You know why? Of course, your kind of trash is back of it and don't want it. That's right. That's right. Um, Madeline O'Hare, a dirty she devil, infidel, got money together. Her boy is embarrassed when somebody read the Bible at school and he didn't want to read it. So she got together and got a ticket, went all the way to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court says you can't have this volunteer Bible reading prayer in the schools. Left wing Supreme Court. Oh um, my. Uh, that poor, that, that man, poor man, was head of the Supreme Court so long, I knew his sister. Her husband was a pastor, a preacher. She begged me to pray for her lost brother, who was so long head of that left winger, head of the Supreme Court so long. But he couldn't, no, they didn't have it. Communists don't have it. If you lived in communist Russia, you, could, you wouldn't even have a Sunday school. Yet there's not a son of school in Soviet Russia unless, unless it's hid in the cave. Nobody tells about it. They're not allowed. Yeah, the official religion is infidelity, atheism in Russia. Or you couldn't teach your children. If you taught your children the Bible and what I'm reported you, you might go to Siberia. Okay, do it, Russia. Now, maybe I'm kind of... Maybe I'm mistreating you people. Maybe up here in Ohio, you got a lawyer. You can't read the Bible at home with children. You can't have prayer with children, have you? Is that, is that it? That's why you don't do it, isn't it? Because they got a law here that won't allow you to read the Bible and pray with your children. Is that it? Huh? Is there any law like that in Ohio? Then why don't you do it? Because you don't want to, just like other infidels. You're not interested. You see, you and the communists and the Madeleine O'Hare... And left wingers about to take America to hell, aren't you? Yeah. Why don't you just make up your mind? I'll quit claiming to be a Christian unless I set off to act like one at home and have family worship. Time Bible reading and prayer, wouldn't that be all right? You could do it, couldn't you? Amen. Don't you know God will help you about your children and would answer your prayers and put food on the table and put clothes on the children's back and help you about the schooling and the rest of it. If you took time every day of family worship, Bible reading and prayer, and you ought to do it, oughtn't you? Don't you think so? Oh, that, well, that's awful old-fashioned, isn't it? Yeah, but bless God. To have good children turn out to live for God's old-fashioned. You ought to do it. I'm going to talk to men. I wonder how many men here ought to say. Uh, first, I'm going to ask you two questions. Don't lie about it, please. How many have read the Bible through at least once? Just one time even. Read it all through every line. You mean all of it? All of it? Revelation, Chronicles, so-and-so begat so-and-so, and he begat so-and-so. How many say, I've read the Bible through at least one time, every line of it? Let's see your hand. Hold your hand up high. Yes? Oh, some of you have. About one out of six or eight. The rest of you haven't even read through. You're sure find a bunch of Christians, aren't you? 
Now, you bet your children aren't going to turn out very good. How many here have time every day to read the Bible with your family, uh, the Bible reading and prayer with your family at home as a regular custom? Let's see your hand, please. Hold your hand. A oh, few. Thank God for these. Thank God for these. I wonder how many men say, Brother Rice, I'd like to take a vow like Joshua. Joshua says, for me and my house will serve the Lord, and I'm going to take it too. You'll have to have God. Someone said, Brother Rice, I might, I might fail. Yeah, that's right. But there's no failure in the world as bad as not trying to do right, is it? Amen. And if you say, by God's grace, I'm going to try. And if you get behind, all right, I'll catch up. Take time to do it. I wonder how many men said, Brother Rice, in this conference, I'd like to get my home fixed up. I'd like to sit my home.